Rachel! Oh, I missed you so much. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That was a lesson in uh, how to fake remembering somebody. Something I desperately need. That's all right. Hey, hey, I'm here at the Fantasy Flight Games thing with this guy. Hold on, we'll get back to you. All right. And uh, they make all sorts of stuff, as you well know. Board games. Uh, they're also uh, a publisher of Games Workshop books. Is that right, Ross? That's right. We okay, have license. Okay, so we're here with Ross. Let license me move you around so right. your awesome display <laughs> is behind you. Uh, Fantasy Flight Games has a license to do uh, Dark Heresy and Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay from uh, Games Workshop, and we are very proud to be producing uh, books for these uh, two systems. Uh, well, how long have you guys been in business? Uh, Fantasy Flight has been around for how long? Uh, well, we uh, started out as a, uh, as a publisher of European comics in the United States in 1995, and our first game was Twilight Imperium in 1995. Okay, so like 14 years. Sure. Okay. I just uh, started here back in June of 2008. So. Oh, okay. So you're Still a newbie. Relatively, I'm a newbie, yeah. Okay, great. Well, you seem like you're you're in charge and you know what's going on. <laughs> Th this it's guy, all this guy looks I like promise. the intern. Oh, my goodness. It's all an illusion. How long have you been with the company? I'm older. Uh, Wait, and you're older, older than Ross? I'm older than Ross. I think hair makes you look younger. It brings out my beautiful No offense there, Ross. <laughs> no take, no take. Don't He's worry, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be cursed somehow, I'm sure. <laughs> by, my hair will start falling out tomorrow. All right. All right, great. Well, your stuff is awesome. It's just... Hold on. Okay, so what are your best products? Uh, well, for the Dark Heresy line, our best products are obviously the core rule book, which is just a fantastic... Uh, uh, in-depth approach to the Inquisition in the uh, Warhammer 40,000 universe. Right. Um, then we also have some, some great supplements for that. Inquisitor's Handbook, Disciples of the Dark Gods. Uh, we have a lot of really great books that take you into the universe and make you feel like you're immersed in it. Oh, tell me. They're great resources. I, I agree. Totally. Uh, Even if you're like a 40K player, you yeah, should get those and read them and have the art well, in the great, background. There's just lots of great background material in there. If you don't, you know, Hell, the uh, our release schedule is told is written as a story because it's oh, a lot, really? it's a lot more fun than just oh, this will be released in uh, April and this right. will be released in June you know Ross uh, wrote the wrote the story behind it and it's uh, something like Creatures Anathema is very similar is it t it's it's a it's a source book for monsters for uh, oh, I was aliens. reading it but yeah but you're, you could make an army for 40k you know? based on that <laughs> you yeah. sure could yeah oh really now is that getting re reprinted it is it is We're okay good it should be in stores so no need for me to go out and buy 20 of those <laughs> I would I would avoid doing that no no no, no, no. You, you can buy 20 if you want that's unless, all right. unless you, you really want 20. to but I mean you shouldn't do it you shouldn't do it expecting that there wouldn't be more that's, uh, that's what I meant to okay, say okay great Awesome. Well, I got to tell you, this stuff is really, really, really slick. Okay, um, you know, give, give, give me some inside information. <laughs> like, uh, how, okay. how, how many things do you publish in a typical month? Uh, it really depends. Between, between 2 and 20 different SKUs. Really? Um, I mean, they could, but that's just it. it well, a SKU be, could be like a character it could be sheet. A miniature. It could be right. a... Uh, We have about 50 active product lines, so games that, you know, base games that are that are in uh, that are in print. Oh my gosh, that's that's crazy. Um, in Dark Heresy is just one of. Oh yeah, you guys do a ton of board games. I have four yeah. copies of Descent. Nice. That is my favorite just, board game. I just for Descent. the figs, and we scavenge counters. Nice. Off it, the count. I use the counters for everything. Oh yeah. Magic, it's, war games. Uh, they're 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 well designed, but they still have a generic quality to them that can right. be all about just. I mean, and that's really what Descent is. It's it's kind of a Kevin's idea of it is. It's the uh, it's the dungeon crawl without the role playing. It's the let's let's get through this. It can be, you know, it, it has a world behind it. It has a story behind it, but. It's also very open to everybody's interpretation. And there's the Road to Legend expansion, and the Road to Legend expansion is actually more like a campaign where your character will dance and grow. You know, I saw that. It is fantastic. I've had so much fun doing that. Okay, great. So uh, what, what's what's on the horizon wow. for Fantasy Flight? Well, a lot of Come on, give me, give me, well, some, uh, give me something juicy to, here. 
particular interest to Adepticon attendees, we have uh, two things that we've announced coming out uh, this, uh, this summer. Uh, one is called uh, Chaos in the Old World. It's a massive board game where you play the four chaos gods fighting over control of the uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, world. that sounds great. Yeah, is that uh, a miniatures a game, game or no, what is it? It's a board game. There are, right, you know, but there, there's going to be miniatures in it, yeah, in it yep. like Descent has. Yep. Um, but it's a, a wider view, uh, more, more of a board game, more of a strategic board game than a tactical thing like uh, this. Like this the is. four chaos gods are pretty awesome. Yeah, oh, really, man, yeah. really neat. That's really great. Neat. Um, and then uh, around well, Gen-Con, so th- that's that's a breakthrough because you're making yeah. Warhammer related figures. Yeah. For it. So I wonder how yeah. they will. You, you'll see them crop up in people's armies, I'm sure, well, somehow. They're, they're, a different, they're a completely different scale. Oh, so. that never stopped me before. <laughs> especially, when it, especially when it's chaos, right? Right. Yeah. And then we have a, uh, we have a, uh, a card game called you know, the Warhammer LCG Living Card Game. It's, uh, it's like a collectible card game, like a CCG, only it's rather than having to go and buy a starter deck and then a bunch of booster packs, you buy a starter set, you know, about, about yay sized. Okay. It has tons of cards and counters and uh, just various things that you need to play the game. And then every month there's going to be one pack that you buy. Oh, okay. And so the game grows. So instead of a book. Right. Expansion. Yeah. So it's, it's a, you you know, instead of going cards. to going to the store and buying like ten booster packs and hoping you get the right card, you go and you buy one pack and you have every card that's released that month. So, Mr. Suitcase okay, is not allowed, as they say. <laughs> And this guy factions like the Empire, the Dwarves, the Orcs, and they all have like okay. special cards and do special things. I'm, I'm not really a card game guy myself, but I played this and I said this is really cool. I can't yeah. wait for it to come out. This is going to be great. All right. Hey, that sounds great. You guys have uh, have been great. Thank you. Thank you.